Jonathan Kovac with your Tidmans and Area Web Weather, a very late edition for Friday, January the 3rd. Got some interesting material to showcase for today. It was your Friday 925 workday, a good way to wrap up the work week with the presence of a cold front, which is moving along northeast Ontario in our viewing area at a very quick rate. It's attached to that low pressure system that came out of Winnipeg, Manitoba some two days ago. That low has gone towards Quebec, dragging this cold front, striking Capus casing hers at 6 a.m. with some light snow and poor visibility for a short period of time. One hour later, it continues moving southeastward, striking Timmins with poor visibility, mixed precipitation, one mile or less for about 20, 30 minutes, and the vertical visibility, the obscured visibility, 200 feet only. So that shows you the intensity of our cold front, which wasn't a, which was not all that bad, to be honest with you. Two cold fronts behind that low pressure system. The first one across southern Ontario. The second one is outside of our region, crossing through the Sioux Sudbury North Bay region. Barometer on the rise, 2950 this morning, or 100 kilopascals. That's a plus sign. Winds out of the west northwest this morning for a few hours, uh, 30 gusts in about 40 45 kilometers an hour. The cloud cover remains in the picture. But we break up the cloud cover by this evening because we welcome a ridge of high pressure sitting right over Lake Superior, which is trying to break up the cloud cover that's left behind with this trough of low pressure. That's the elongated area of low pressure from what's now gone towards Quebec. The barometric pressure, big time improvement, 29.90 or 101.1 kilopascals and a light northwest wind at about 5 to 10 kilometers an hour. That's thanks to this clockwise moving high pressure system which will pass through our region quite rapidly because Environment Canada says partly cloudy to mostly cloudy for Saturday. Weather Network says just completely overcast, maybe a few light snowflakes for Saturday as well. Two pick three maps. This is the morning map to show you what's going on. The Weather Network said that Cochrane and Iroquois Falls are at plus one with rain, zero degrees with freezing rain for Smoother Rock Falls, 717 snow and ice pellets for Timmins with the freezing mark and the cold front dropped the temperature down to minus five with partly cloudy conditions at Hearst. And the pick three for this evening, well this is what it looks like. Light snow with minus seven for Timmins at nine o'clock, a little bit cooler with minus 11 near Cochrane and overcast skies and a chilly minus 13 this evening at Capus Casing.